All right, guys, y'all wanted a pipe video. Here you go. I'm going to show y'all how to transition this flange down to fit this 12 to 8 reducer. You can't tell, it's pretty good. So, y'all stick around, I'll show y'all how I do this, anyways. All right, so the first thing I do is whichever one side's the biggest or the largest, I'll measure it and I always burn a couple inches. That way we get a good measurement. Measure right at the edge of the bevel. Whatever the widest point is, that's exactly straight across. Should be about right in there. Okay. So we're about 14 and 1 16th. So now let's check her up and down, make sure it's about the same. Yeah. All right, so now we'll get to our flange, see how much we need to take off of it. I don't have a deal worked out with these guys, but I'll leave you guys a link in the description. If y'all want to try them out, jump over there and grab you some off Amazon. But anyways, I'm gonna use these Norton Quantum 3 grinding disc. This one's a quarter inch thick. It's not good for grinding beads, like root passes or anything like that, because it's so thick and it goes against the welding procedures. But as far as transitioning this down and grinding plate and stuff on some of this heavier equipment, man, you can't beat these things. So y'all jump over there and check them out, get you one to try it because they are some cutting them efforts. So, a little tip. When you're transitioning this down and you're using this side of the grinder, you wanna pull it this way. If you're using this side of the grinder, you wanna pull it this way, especially with it being new. If not, if you're going like this, you're gonna gouge the shit out of it. If you go this way, you're gonna gouge the shit out of it. And you're not gonna have a good time. Be, be really careful in which way you take these, especially till this corner gets rounded off and after that, it, it won't be too bad. So I'm just gonna do a little bit and then we'll skip ahead. All right, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, see how I took the landing off. That's a good gauge. Cutting this off, you know exactly how much you're taking off. So I'm gonna do that the rest of the way around, and then I'm gonna take a sanding disc and get this corner broke off and get it smooth and transitioned in there. It's the same process, but I won't bore y'all with that, but it's exactly the same thing. Take it down, put your sanding pad on, and then blend it in. But I'll see y'all here in a minute when we go to fit it back up, okay? So that should be about dead nuts perfect. Oh yeah, look at there. Wide a spot. I know, it's just a touch right here on this uh, reducer piece. It's probably egg, just a fuzz. I should have measured it a little better, but man, it's within, there right there might be a sixteenth of an inch. Looks way worse with the light coming through. Let's see if I can block it off. Yeah, you, there you go. You can kind of see it there. It's super tiny. So, I'm off just a little bit, but man, if I can't catch that, I shouldn't be welding. Guys, so we got our high-low on the inside. Got everything out is even, what little bit of high-low's in it. Now we got to get us a gap on the top here. So how I'll do that, take my hammer. Just barely peck it until I get the gap I want. I'm going to pack this out. There we go. It's pretty good. That's a good, like, 32nd, heavy 16th. About the same as the landing is. But we we'll tack the top, level our pipe, put a level on our pipe, and put a level on the front of the flange. That way, the flange is level with the pipe. So let me get this tacked, and then we'll level everything up. All right, if y'all couldn't tell, I was a little spicy on my tack. That's it. I'm sure y'all seen it in the arc shot there. But we gotta check her level. All right, it's good. Check her flange. All right, now, that's exactly what you wanna expect. You opened your top up to get your tack in, now you gotta open your bottom up to get your tack, and that will level it out. 
So now, get an old spacing wedge and tap this up in here. Take a hammer, just drive it up in there, watch you bubble. But I can't do it with one hand. So I'm gonna set you guys down, drive this wedge in, level it out, and I'll be back in a second. All right, see, now, drove my wedge up in here, opened this up, which my, my clamps are holding it open. But how I'm riding this line just a little bit, that way, whenever I tack this down here, it's gonna draw shut a little bit, and that thing should be dead nuts level after I tack that bottom. So, see how it turns out. Checker level. After tacked, boom, dead nuts level. So, troll this thing over to where our tacks are on our side, throw our level on it, and then we'll get our side to side. That way we ain't throwing a square up here and trying to square off this and all that all by ourselves. Easiest way to do it. Level there. Checker level here. And we are favoring that line a little bit so if we tack our tack our bottom first and then tack the top and things should be should be way close enough anyways let's get this tacked and then we'll go from there All right, guys, that's how you transition and fit and tack up a flange to a eight inch reducer, which it doesn't matter. It, it all works the same. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. Uh, check out one of these other videos and the next one, we'll weld this thing out, all right?